Salutations, respected viewers. It is May Day, the 1st of May. So why is it so special? Well, for some people it marked the beginning of the summer. Go back to ancient Roman times and around this time was the, the uh, flower festival or in um, Irish mythology in our ancient religion, we had Beltane, uh, which is um, another religious festival. God, my Irish is so bad, I can't tell you the literal meaning of that, the name of it. So there was, a, there was a pagan fest in many countries around now. And I was fascinated to discover that in Ireland people used to jump over fires to cleanse themselves and things like that, of the bad spirits. And actually Azerbaijan, they do the same. They do it earlier though, in March, Novruz, their spring festival. Um, so it's to do with fertility. So many things are born, blend into Easter. Easter's obviously usually late April or anything back to as early as late March. Um, uh, lambs are born and there's so much greenery around. So the world is very fertile. It's splendid. Um, so as often it's celebrated as a worker's day. It goes back to about 1880 in the United States. Some incident where there was some sort of clash between the police and some trades unionists in the United States. You'd say labor unionists and some of the strikers were killed. Um, what else? Yeah, uh, it's also the feast of um, St. Joseph the worker, as in the husband of the Blessed Virgin. He was in Carpenter. So Catholics would celebrate that and the Catholic Church saw that as a way to uh, counteract this is a socialist or communist uh, festival. So um, since the early 20th century, it's been a um, holiday uh, in most, uh, in most uh, countries, like um, certainly it is in Germany, in Romania, in Russia, the Republic of Ireland, the United Kingdom, and on and on. Uh, May Day and big uh, demonstrations by the trades unions, not necessarily protesting against anything, but just showing their might. Miners having their galas now and things like that. So um, for some people, this was the one night of the year where illicit sexual encounters were permitted, all to do with fertility in that, or um, crowning the Queen of May, a uh, lubricious young woman wearing a wreath of flowers, um, or the maypole put up on the village green in medieval England, people holding these ribbons, these streamers, and dancing around in a circle and dancing back, several of them around the maypole. Um, so then Oliver Cromwell came along and ordered those to be destroyed because he thought they were paganism or they were idolatrous, things like that. Germany has an even more um, splendid tradition of uh, dancing around the maypole, so it's part of the pageantry associated with this um, delightful feast. Um, anyway, in Oxford it's a very special day, so some people have these all-night parties. There's no ball as such called the May Ball, but there might be several May Balls Usually balls are held um, in early June and that's when that's when the uh, Trinity term, that's the summer term, Oxford University ends. Um, but anyway, a lot of people would have been up all night to try and survive till dawn, about 6am, gathered below Magdalen Tower. Magdalen is one of the colleges of Oxford University. It's spelt Magdalen, but pronounced Magdalen. And Magdalen Tower, for centuries, was the tallest building in Oxford. It's not the tallest by some way now. Um, it's only about... 50 meters tall, is it even that much? Anyway, and so um, Morden College Choir would uh, be up there and at dawn, they would sing madrigals to welcome uh, the summer. And you can see this memorably uh, recreated in um, that film about uh, C.S. Lewis. My goodness, I can't remember what it's called. The 1994 film Shadowlands, starring Deborah Winger and uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins. And uh, people used to sometimes jump off uh, Magdalen Bridge into the into the Isis below, the Isis no sorry the Charwell below the Charwell is a tributary of the River Thames, um and the, for twenty five years the Charwell was the the bridge has been blocked off by the police around this time to prevent people from doing that because it's very dangerous the water is less than a meter deep, I know they're not jumping that far off the bridge it's not that high above the river, but people will do themselves a serious injury or indeed kill themselves. Fortunately, I don't think anyone's ever been killed doing it. Um, so that's that. So thousands of people would gather below to watch them. Could be tens of thousands if the 1st of May happens to fall um, on a Saturday or a Sunday. Right, so that's that. 1st of May It's a splendid time and we're out here seeing that everything's in bloom and the flowers are fragrant. So um, enjoy it to the max.